Hi! Yes, welcome back to my channel. And yes, I did cut my hair shorter this time. And I color it too. Look at that. But that's not the main thing this time. So I want to share with you one of the important thing that you need to do after becoming a U.S. citizen. And that is applying for your U.S. passport. And I want to share with you the process, how it went, how long did it take for me. So if you want to know that, keep watching this video. So back on March of 2021st, this year, I became a U.S. citizen. And after becoming a U.S. citizen, the next step is for you to apply for the passport. And that's what I did. I actually didn't apply immediately. I actually waited a few months, couple months after that. I had my passport scheduled on May 1st of 2021st. And I just did that through our U.S. Postal Services. You guys can check that out. You guys can go ahead, check out your location if they do provide that. Um, there are some U.S postal services that they don't provide that service the passport service so check it out and that's how you get started on applying for your passport for me it was very easy applying or setting up my schedule to get my passport appointment so what I did is I just went online, I went to their website, and you just need to click or put your zip code in there, and there will be places that will show up in there for you to choose from. And you're just going to choose whatever is best for you. After that, there will just be a um, few personal information that they're going to ask from you. After that, you're going to set your appointment. And then there is also an option there to print out the PDF form of the form that you need to fill out when you go in person. And I did that. I print that thing out and I will show you a video. I'll attach that in here on how to print that out and where to find that and all of that stuff as well. All right. So this is the site that you need to go. Go to travel.state.gov and just click enter. And this is going to show you. It will show you and give you option to see passport forms, um, photo identification, passport photos, passport fees, and all of that stuff. So you can go ahead and click those. Like I mentioned, you need to bring the form that you need to fill out in front of them. Click this one right here, download your form, go down, and after you go down, you're going to choose this first right here, application for a U.S. passport. And this is applying for the first time because there are options on what form you need to print out. In my case, I did the applying for the first time since I just became a citizen. Click the PDF and there you go. This is exactly the form that you need to print out. Those are just all the directions and how to do that. And here is the application for a U.S. passport right there. It got all of that information. Like I said, I didn't fill this out. I filled this out when I was at my um, passport appointment. So right now, I will be showing you on how I set up my appointment for passport. So first is I went to Google and I type in passport schedule appointment. You can go straight to the USPS website or you can type in passport schedule appointment. So the first thing that will pop up right here in the search bar, click that. It says schedule an appointment USPS tracking. And after clicking that, this is going to ask for what service do you need. You're just going to select it right here, arrow down. It's going to be new passport, only new passport with photo, photo services, passport renewal. In my case, I choose new passport with photo services. I click that right there and I put one adult and I don't have any minor under 16 years old so i just leave that as zero but if you do have one i'm sorry about that if you do have one you can choose it from there 
and after that it's going to ask for search by either the location or the date always use the location because that will tell you if there is one around your area put your zip code right there let's just say there you go and then search it after you search that, it will show up all the locations that are providing the passport service. And when you select the location, that will provide you the hours that are available. After you do that, it is going to ask to provide your contact information right here. You click this, you click that, and there you go. Review appointment. After you click review appointment, it will show you everything. And that's it. You already schedule your passport appointment. So on the day of my passport appointment, I brought the following. First is my ID, my driver's license. Second is the form that I print out from their website. This form, you need to fill this out in front of them. Second is I brought and make sure that you have it my certification of naturalization and they are going to ask for the original copy of it they are not asking for the copy but they are going to ask for the original all right and also they were going to ask for the passport picture if you don't have a passport picture with you just like like me i didn't bring that one they can provide that with you and with additional charge though so that's what i did i want to give you guys a timeline and an idea of my passport application from the day i applied for the passport and from the day i had my passport on hand so may 1st of 2021 that was the day that i had my appointment through the u.s postal services and i received my passport on hand on july 2nd of 2021 so the total of two months yes it took me two months before i receive it but that is totally fine with me thinking of being in this covid whatever pandemic is going they literally told me that it will take at least 12 to 16 weeks before i will receive it because they have a lot of application but if you guys if it's like an emergency matter or if you already have planned vacation and you guys can expedite, you will going to add $100 if I am not mistaken. And you can have your passport within two to four weeks if I am not mistaken. So it was not bad at all. And after receiving my passport three days after that, I received my naturalization cert certification. Like I said, they took my original copy and they told me that after i received my passport they're going to send my naturalization back and they did it took them three days after that so my naturalization certification looks great perfect condition i don't have any issue about that so was good for me i guess that's it so i just really want to share with you guys the process on how to apply your u.s passport after becoming a u.s citizen give you guys an idea of the timeline the fees and what are the things that you need to bring on your appointment as well in that case you can always double check that online check if what are the things that you need to bring just to make sure you have everything. If you guys have any question, you can leave that on the comment section below and I will try my best to answer as soon as I can because I also do work full time every week and here and there I also work weekends as well. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button right there. Click the notification bell to give you guys an update every time I upload a video. And I appreciate all of you. I will see you to my next video. Bye!